Good morning, Claxton students, staff, and families. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, and today is the 36th day of school. Today is National Child Health Day. As Coach Hafke always says, your health is your wealth. So drink water, eat some veggies, and move your body today and every day. Today's weather is going to be sunny with a high of 78. It's like summer is back. <laughs> and now to Ms. Rigsby for a Dance Fit update and Ms. Olson for We Create Wednesday. We have no Hive B days today. Good morning, Claxton leaders. Let's hear that Sports City Now cheer on three. Here we go. One, two, three. Sports City Now. Very nice. All right. I got some very important news for you. We are so close to our goal. How close are we, Miss Rigsby? Well, let me tell you. We are 100,000 pennies away from our goal. We are 4,000 quarters away from our goal. Or you could say that we are 50 $20 bills away from our goal. Or maybe we're $1,000 bills away from our goal. That's right. You did the math. We are only $1,000 away from our goal. I cannot believe the work that you're putting in to support our school. I so appreciate it. Now, last night we had a lot of new pledges to help us get this far. Let's hear which class in each grade level got the most earning a virtual lunch with your teacher sometime soon. So in kindergarten, Miss Anna's class, Miss <laughs> in first grade, Miss Hughes's class, in second grade, Miss Zapata's class, in third grade, Miss Simer's class, in fourth grade, Miss Wells's class, and in fifth grade, rocking it out, Miss Hillier's class. Excellent job. I hope you enjoy your virtual lunch with a teacher. All right, so today we're going to have to help the Sports City Now team find another inspiring story of a kid athlete with character. Will they be able to save the show? We'll find out today. And in the process, we're going to learn about resolution. All right, that was great. We are gearing up for our dance fit party on Friday. And tonight's class winners will be chosen as the classes with the most new donations. Again, any amount helps our school. Just get it in there. The class winners from tonight will earn a class choice prize. Your class will be able to vote on the prize that you win. It might be a show and share, an extra class with a specialist, a dress like a superhero day, or something else fun that your class would like to do together to celebrate your victory. This is a big prize. Good luck to your class. artists it's mrs olson and i'm back this week with another artful mindfulness activity this week's activity is all about dancing as we continue to get ready for our dance fit challenge we have two days until our dance fit event Last week, we were inspired by looking at artworks that got our bodies moving and listening to music and dancing. This week's activity, we're going to do that in reverse. We're going to move our bodies as we listen to music, and then we're going to do drawings of what our bodies look like when they're dancing. So when you are dancing and you're listening to some of your favorite music, every once in a while, stop and freeze your body and then look by moving your head around and notice what parts of your body are bending, moving, twisting, turning. What does your body look like moving around in space? Then you dance some more and you do it again. So you're going to keep taking mental pictures of what your body looks like when you're dancing. Then you're gonna do drawings of those and then those little drawings get placed on tiny little sculptures that you can move around and continue to dance with. So I hope you like this activity and I hope you are getting ready for the challenge. I cannot wait to see what you create.
Here are a few jokes for our class and leaders today. Maggie H. says, what did the human say to the cat who was climbing on screen doors too much? You've had too much screen time. I bet nobody's heard that in the past few weeks, huh? All right, Jesse in Miss Colors class says, why do pandas like old movies? Because they're black and white. Jesse, that's clever, thanks. All right, here are some golden tickets. Jovi would like to give one to Max D for being the most best friend ever. Way to go, Max, and thanks, Jovi, for sending that. Dane M says, I would like to give a golden ticket to William M for being a great friend. When I was confused on my assignment, he helped me out. Thanks, William. And Mr. Casera would like to give a golden ticket to Tristan D for his great effort at the Eddington Pod Center. Tristan always finishes his work on time and is eager to help other students. He is a true Claxon leader. That is true. He is. So I love hearing these golden tickets about kids helping other kids with their schoolwork. I am so proud of you, Claxon kids. And now for Mr. Garrity for Wonder Wednesday. Hey, Claxton leaders. Welcome to Wonder Wednesday, where we think about the world together through questions. This week, we want to continue our work thinking about question words like who, what, when, where, why, and how, and then also about follow-up questions. The questions that we ask after we learn something new or ask after we hear someone else ask a question. This week, our new questions are from Miss Briggs, what causes wildfires? From Oliver P., how do trees start as a seed and get so big with just sun, soil, and water and air? Interesting. And then Maggie did something interesting this week. Maggie, it seems, learned something new about the word technology and asked this question. Why do people say that computers and, tech and iPhones or other phones are the only technology? when really books and pencils can be referred to as technology. And that made me ask the follow-up question, what is the definition of technology? That is so interesting. Sometimes, like Maggie did this week, when we learn a new thing, it makes us wonder all of these other things. So as you are thinking this week and as you are learning new things in your classes, I encourage you to wonder to ask questions and think about the things that come to mind. See you next Wednesday. All right, Claxton leaders, I am so proud of the work you're doing. Keep sending stuff in for announcements. I love hearing from you every day. And don't forget, Dance Fit is this Friday. We're gonna have so much fun dancing. All right, have a good one. Now it's time for the Claxton Pledge. At Claxton Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our hives diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. I show respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I am a proud and dependable Claxton B, even when no one is watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. We're going to wait a little bit to set our wigs. The email account that you should email these to is clxannouncements at acsgmail.net. You can also submit to the CLX announcements by filling out the Google form on our remote learning website.